What's going on champs and champions? It's Fire Monkey here and I know some of you guys might be feeling a little weird right now if you watch the videos daily and you're like, wait a minute, why is he on the right side here? Well, that is because we have a very interesting slew of leaks to share with you guys. So if you guys have ever watched yesterday's YouTube video, and even if you didn't, we talked about a content creator over on Facebook named Barbie Harp, who came out of absolutely nowhere and had leaks regarding two encrypted collaborations this update. One was the Terminator collaboration, which is now decrypted and we can see it in game right now, but the other one was an upcoming icon emote. Now, I forgot the emote's name, but you know, we already talked about it and kind of showcased it in yesterday's video if you missed that, but we thought that was it, right? We're like, okay, so you know, they got access to a developer build, they got in contact with someone with access or whatever else, maybe it was an ex-employee or something, and we actually got a little bit more than just this update because it appears that the next game update has already been leaked as well with collaborations coming to it, and as you can already tell by the title and thumbnail of today's video, we have a update on that beloved anime collaboration that was talked about yesterday by this content creator who has officially revealed cosmetics, images, and everything else, and it is none other than Jujutsu Kaisen. Now, originally it was believed that it was going to be a One Piece collaboration just because, you know, everyone knew that it would kind of align very well here because the only two things you can think of when it comes to really, like, anime and releasing right now that would be popular enough to hit Fortnite would be One Piece because they're on, you know, their whole entire, like, major, like, episode or arc or whatever. I don't really know too much about it. I just know one of my friends is like, you gotta watch this with us. We gotta do a watch party and I'm like I'm on episode 13 man please but that was what everyone speculated was going to be at first was One Piece but then again at the same time season 2 of Jujutsu Kaisen is releasing right now and it appears that yeah that is what it's going to be that's what the collaboration was going to be and everything else and you know at first once it got announced it was just like oh there's going to be male skins female skins all that type of stuff and then we got images such as this one leaked out to Twitter now something I do want to mention right away here is that the actual pose of the cosmetics is most likely not the pose we're going to see when they actually release in game and the reason I say this is because the cosmetics are being previewed in the actual lobby view or I guess you know the item shop view from the back bling itself and not the actual skin, right? Because if you were viewing it from the skin's perspective, then you would have whatever idle animation there is. But whenever you view the back bling of an item shop cosmetic, they typically have that stiff animation. So there is a high probability that these cosmetics are going to have actual edit styles and everything else, or, you know, idle animations and everything for them. And when it comes to the first skin here, which is Gojo with the sweet selection back bling, it appears that it's going to have an edit style that is going to allow you to take the little, you know, blindfold off. I honestly don't know why I could not find the word for blindfold for the life of me, but luckily we have the power of editing, so you didn't really even know that. Now, the description of the actual back bling is help yourself to one, and it's the sweet selection back bling. We don't know the description of the skin is, but another thing to really mention before we go ahead and show the other cosmetics is that it says that the cosmetics are from Chapter 4 Season 3, which means that while, yes, they could be for, you know, a Chapter 4 Season 4 situation, you know, releases with the new season, whatever else, it appears like it is going to be for the final update of this season and maybe we'll even get a little mini event pass and the reason why I say that's a possibility is because the main character of Jujutsu Kaisen doesn't even have a skin as part of this collaboration and a lot of people were speculating or at least you know based on the leaked images I was like okay so why isn't the main character getting their own skin in the game if they're getting three other ones it could be because they do like a mini pass system where you know you spend like a thousand V-Bucks or whatever 950 or whatever else to earn little challenges and rewards throughout the update in order to earn a lot of Jujutsu Kaisen themed rewards now of course we don't know if that's confirmed or not yet, but it still adds a little bit of that area to, oh, we have some things that may or may not be known. Now, according to the Barbie Heart person, they will be asking their source in the morning, you know, probably after this video is already gone live, regarding what's happening with the collaboration or what's happening, you know, with the main character and everything, so I will be having a video tomorrow with any updates if there are updates to share. However, that wasn't the only cosmetic added to the game that got leaked, because we also have Megami. Now, this has the Kon back bling right here, which is a Shikigami in the shape of a dog, is the description. But we can also see that this is a bundle with an accurate price on it. It has two emotes, one pickaxe, one back bling, and one skin without variance, and it is set to be 1,900 V-Bucks or 2,500 V-Bucks if you buy each of the cosmetics individually. So it is nice to know that, you know, despite the single skin preview of the first cosmetic, you know, just being one V-Buck because it's, you know, it's uh, like a placeholder or whatever else, it appears that in the bundle leaks and all that type of stuff, it has accurate pricing in there, allowing us to get a better idea of how much 
much V-Bucks we're going to have to spend in order to get everything as part of the collaboration. Now, of course, that actual pricing can change in the future, so that is just something to keep in mind. You know, it's like, ah, things can fluctuate here and there, but at least from what we have right now, you know, the resources available to us, this is what we know. Now, considering the fact that we did get a video, like, you know, showcasing all the Terminator cosmetics before, I would be interested to see if we managed to get a video of these cosmetics as well to kind of give us, you know, a better overview of, like, idle animations, backblings, everything else, maybe even emotes and everything, because remember, when the collaboration first got leaked for the Terminator thing, Thing, there was no mention of pickaxes at all, right? There was no mention of even an emote. It was just, here's a skin, here's a back bling, and here's a glider. So there is a high probability that there's even more cosmetics a part of this collaboration that will be released in the item shop that we currently don't know of because of the fact that, you know, these leaks typically tend to be incomplete when they come from the Barbie Heart person. And that's not even me trying to diss the Barbie Heart person, right? It's just kind of, you know, stating some facts that, you know, it's like, hey, there's always the possibility for even more than what we saw here to be added as part of the collaboration. However, for the third cosmetic set, we have Nobara. Now, Nobara actually has a bundle here with a back bling that is the signature Shraw Daw back bling with a description of four Nobara's initiate or edit technique. You know, I, I, I probably butchered that. I don't really care too much at the end of the day because I am planning to binge JJK very soon. But then we also have the rubber mallet pickaxe. Now, something I want to mention is a lot of people at first were like, oh, what if this is a placeholder and that was like power from Chainsaw Man's pickaxe or anything? That is not the case because the rubber mallet pickaxe is actually used by Nobara in JJK. And the whole entire lore behind that pickaxe is basically, oh, you know, you use this whenever you want to get in a fight with someone, but you don't want to kill them. So that was kind of the whole entire reason why that pickaxe is there, and that is what is going to be releasing in the item shop. Now, once again, all of the cosmetics we showcase, so that one, this one, and this one, they're all previewed from the back bling itself, so we don't get to see any of the fancy idol animation. I'm assuming that was just done because they wanted to make sure they would be able to sit there and be like, hey, here's a full body view instead of, you know, the animation, maybe like an arm or something's kind of like covering the area, you know, hiding some of the detailing or whatever else. But I do want to mention that keep in mind, despite everything, despite us having these images already, despite everything being known, we don't know the release date 100% as of yet. We don't know if there's going to be a mini event pass. We don't know if there's going to be more cosmetics. And we really kind of don't know much other than this. And keep in mind the cosmetics and everything else, the images, you can think about them looking one way. But keep in mind, this is recorded and, you know, this is like captured with some very grainy quality to it. So I would say, you know, if you're kind of iffy about the design, but you like JJK, you know, Jujutsu Kaisen, wait until the cosmetics are in game where you're able to view it with the highest graphic settings available to you before you make your own personal opinions on it. Now, I know that's kind of, you know, just like, wait, guys, be hopeful or whatever. But at the same time, it is just something that I feel like, you know, don't judge how the graphics look entirely. Because there's been a lot of leaks before where people are like, oh, the skin looks terrible or whatever else. And then it ends up looking a lot better in game. And I'm not even saying the skins look terrible, right? I honestly have never watched Jujutsu Kaisen, but seeing that they're getting collaboration with Fortnite makes me want to watch it, and I have a lot of friends making me want to watch it as well. But knowing that, you know, this is designed and knowing we're getting more anime collaborations, that's just making me happy, right? And I think the cosmetics actually do look pretty clean. I like more of, you know, these type of cosmetics as well, especially when you're able to kind of mix and match them with a lot of other stuff. Stuff. Okay, I can't English anymore. <laughs> But yeah, as long as you're able to mix and match them with a lot of other cosmetics and just enjoy the collaboration, even if it's something that you don't really care too much about, allowing other people to enjoy it and be happy for it is just something that I think is pretty cool. Now, it does appear that based on the bundle pricing here for the three items, you know, being the skin, the back bling, and the pickaxe, you can get it in a bundle for 1,800 V-Bucks, or you can pick it up in, you know, individual pricing and everything else in a actual, you know, individual thing where you buy the skin and back bling for one price and then the the pickaxe on its own for 2,300 V-Bucks, which makes me think that the pricing is going to be 1,500 V-Bucks per skin, and then the pickaxe is obviously going to be 800. Because one, that is the standardized pricing they typically do, especially with a, you know, rare rarity pickaxe, but also the skins being 1,500 or the middle ground that even if we go in-game to the item shop right now and we look at some of the cosmetics we have here, they typically actually do that at the same pricing. Like, if we go over here to Philip J. Fry, you know, 1,500 V bucks, which also it's weird to see the full name, but you know, we got a fry 1500 V bucks, Alila 1500, Bender 1500. So it makes sense for them to do this whole entire 1500 V bucks system because that is the standardized pricing that they kind of got going down there, which also further verifies that those actual bundle pricings right here 
are accurate. 1,500, 1,900, or I guess 1,800, 1,900, you know. But this one is the only one that isn't accurate because it appears like we either didn't see the bundle version or a bundle version doesn't exist. With that said, however, we gotta wait until the next update to really get more information about this whole entire collaboration. I hope I didn't butcher anything too hardly that, you know, made you guys cringe at me and like, Fire Monkey, I, I love you, man, as a YouTuber and stuff, but like, did you have to butcher the name that badly? If I did, I apologize, I apologize, I'll be watching stuff very soon, but like, at the end of the day, you know, hey, I'm uncultured right now. <laughs> Rambles and everything else aside, hope you champs and champions enjoyed today's YouTube video. I'm excited to see more anime collaborations coming to the game very soon, and I'll keep you guys in the loop with everything happening with Fortnite x Jujutsu Kaisen. Peace out.